Aloha, this is Sky, the Soulful Progressive, with FNN, Feminist News Network, the Feminist News that's right for you. Welcome to Sky on Location. All right, giving you that soulful news you need, yes indeed. And if you haven't liked and subscribed today to get it that soulful way, please do. All right, tell your friends about that soulful news. All right, now, what do I want to talk to you about? What is going on? What is everybody talking about the feminist? Joe Biden. That's right. Oh, creepy Joe. Oh, good old touchy-feely Joe. Just plain old boy Joe has done just a little too much. And we already known about his funky stuff. Now, what is really going down is an apology that doesn't sound like one. So we're going to take a listen just of a little bit of it because it's been going around everywhere but I got a little bit of it off of uh, uh, DN and uh, we're going to take a look at that but the whole thing I'll, I'll put it out for you to see later but I we only need a touch to talk about him so we're going to do that and we'll discuss all right President Joe Biden says he'll be more mindful of people's personal space after two women step forward to accuse a likely 2020 presidential candidate of inappropriate touching. Earlier this week, former congressional aide Amy Lapus said Biden approached her during a Democratic fundraiser in Connecticut in 2009, pulled her head toward his face and rubbed noses with her. Her allegation came days after former Nevada Assembly member Lucy Flores said Biden came up behind her, smelled her hair, and planted a kiss on the back of her head at an event in 2014. This is Joe Biden speaking in a video posted to Twitter Wednesday. Social norms have begun to change, they've shifted, and the boundaries of protecting personal space have been reset. And I get it. I get it. I hear what they're saying. I understand it. And I'll be much more mindful. That's my responsibility. Many Democrats said Biden's statement fell short. Lucy Flores said in a statement, quote, given the work he has done on behalf of women, Vice President Biden should be aware of how important it is to take personal responsibility for inappropriate behavior. Yet he hasn't apologized to the women he made uncomfortable, she said. Right. He's a hot mess. He knows he don't need to be uh, even running and bidding for the 2020 election. You know, more and more women are coming out of the so-called closet, as far as he's concerned, in regards to letting people know. Now, when he has put out this uh, video as of April the 3rd, there is... For women, the last one being Caitlyn, who said, uh, it isn't so much that he touched me. He shouldn't run due to his 91 Iraq policy. Uh-huh. Yeah. But outside of that, there's a total of four. And they're only going to grow more. Mm-hmm. Now, a lot of people, oh, that's just Joe. That's just... And even Stacey Abrams, who they said they would like to have as Biden's VP pick, said don't even talk about me as written in AP. She might want to run for president herself. Now, is that something that we need to talk about, Stacey Abrams running? Well, we'll do when she does. All right? All right. But she is back in a way while also empathizing with Biden, which is not going to make her look good if she does decide to run. Because believe me, the Me Too and the other movements are going to come out against Biden because there's more out there. I know that there's going to be more out there to come. Mm -hmm. Now, if you agree with me, leave comments below and let me know at FeministNewsIn at gmail.com. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the YouTube channel and the Facebook page. And go ahead and click that link that says Feminist News Network and you can see the rest of my videos. All right. Now, remember, I'm the Soulful Progressive on Twitter. Catch that rant of the day on Blogger if you want to read and get more links. And, um, yeah. 
you got to remember, in this era of hate, we got to participate. Because if not, there's going to be more Joe Bidens in the race. And I know that's right. All right. So, thanks for watching. Thanks for joining. Peace.